In particle physics, the dilaton is a hypothetical particle that appears in theories with extra dimensions when the volume of the compactified dimensions is allowed to vary. It appears for instance in Kaluza Klein theories compactifications of extra dimensions. It is a particle of a scalar field phi, a scalar field that always comes with gravity. For comparison, in standard general relativity, Newton's constant, or equivalently the Planck mass is a constant. If this constant is promoted to a dynamical field, the result is the dilaton. In kaluza klein theories, after dimensional reduction, the effective Planck mass varies as some power of the volume of compactified space. This is why volume can turn out as a dilaton in the lower dimensional effective theory. Although string theory naturally incorporates kaluza klein theory, perturbative string theories, such as type 1 string theory, type 2 string theory and heterotic string theory, already contain a dilaton in the maximal number of 10 dimensions. However, on the other hand, M-theory in 11 dimensions does not include the dilaton in its spectrum unless it is compactified. In fact, the dilaton in type IIA string theory is actually the radion of M-theory compactified over a circle, while the dilaton in E8 times E8 string theory is the radion for the horivar witten model. In string theory, there is also a dilaton in the world sheet CFD. The exponential of its vacuum expectation value determines the coupling constant g, as r equals 2 pi chi for compact world sheets by the Gauss-Bonnet theorem and the Euler characteristic chi equals 2 minus 2 grams, where g is the genus that counts the number of handles and thus the number of loops or string interactions described by a specific world sheet. Therefore the coupling constant is a dynamical variable in string theory, unlike the case of quantum field theory where it is constant. As long as supersymmetry is unbroken, such scalar fields can take arbitrary values. However, supersymmetry breaking usually creates a potential energy for the scalar fields and the scalar fields localize near a minimum whose position should, in principle be calculable in string theory. The dilaton acts like a brans dicker scalar, with the effective Planck scale depending upon both the string scale and the dilaton field. In supersymmetry, the superpartner of the dilaton is called the dilatino, and the dilaton combines with the axion to form a complex scalar field. Dilaton action The dilaton gravity action is this is more general than Brands-Dicker in vacuum in that we have a dilatine potential. 